Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. This week on the old Magic Roundabout, we've got a uh, Matchbox. This is a Matchbox, I think it's Super Kings. K17. Low loader. And I'm going to stick this old dozer on top and all that, so king size as well. Uh, make it worth its while, have it. Having a load on as you watch this go around. I just like to welcome any new friends of the channel. Welcome aboard and welcome back all the uh, old friends of the channel. Uh, we're all doing okay. All right, then let's get this off the magic, get it on the bench, and have a good look at it. Here we go. Well, let's see what we got there, shall we? Go, Stanley, out of the way. Come on, Stan, get your legs on. We'll look at the dozer first. Can't really quite make it. It's a matchbox king size number three, I think. Something like that. D9. Can't make it out. So much paint on it. Okay, yeah, it's not too bad a condition. A bit bent in places. But nothing worth it. It's nothing too hard to get apart. As far as I can make out. Big post in the middle there, should get the top off. The wheels. I think you have to get this off here. Well, we'll get into that in a minute anyway. But yeah, straightforward enough. There's no driver on this one. Got the bits and pieces. So that's why I chose this one to go on it. It's not too over complicated. Got a set of tracks. These fit two or three different matchbox. So I nicked one, nicked I found one which didn't have which had tracks on, so I nicked and put them on here. Right. Let's have a look what we got here. This comes apart, lifts and separate. There you go. Matchbox king size. Number K7. Dyson low loader. First straight away. Suspension plastic is broken there. That's supposed to go underneath there, I think. To give it a bit of, a bit of suzzy. There. We can replace that with a bit of plastic or something. Trailer's not too bad. These are normally a little bit bent, but let's have a look there. Not too bad, yeah. Yeah, just there and there. Both those edges there won't be tweaking out. We've got the tyres on, wheels on. That's a bit wobbly. Wibbly wobbly wheel, that one. Yeah, don't worry about that. So, really, to get this apart, I was having that pin. There, we might just pull out that pin. That pin might just pull out. We can uh, do something with that. Trailer, glass is good. A lot of these are broken glass. It's a Ford, obviously. It's, it's got Taylor Woodrow, but I don't know if it's genuine Taylor Woodrow, but it's not going to have anything on it. Because I want any decals for it, and it doesn't really matter anyway, does it, at the end of the day? It doesn't have to have decals on it. So, yeah, that's the old lift up for the release in it. Get the one post there, drag that out, grind these axles off, and that'll let this come out. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Probably some glass is green. I suppose I've put that in there because there's probably no interior in it. Yeah, there isn't an interior in it, so I've, I suppose they tint the glass to make it so you can't see the bare inside. Light's good on top. So, really, we're pretty good. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that this time. Give it a go. Give it a go, John. Give it a go. Right, get the tools out and we'll get it stripped. Dealing with the uh, dozer first. It's the easiest one. Like I showed you. Got one centre rivet there, uh, post. So once you drill that out, you've got like a, a clamp there. So if you get your screwdriver up underneath there, and it lifts, it lifts off like that, yeah. Then you can slide it forward, bring it out over the back, like this. All right, that's, that's what it did. It did it for me anyway. Yeah, you bring it out over there. If you just spray them slightly like that, they'll come up over the back, and then you can just pull that out like that, yeah. So that's what I did. Remember now. Because there's two, um, two bits here, one there, one there. If you just splay them over there, 
then that'll come that'll slide out a lot easier and what you do then is there's really short pins in here you can just see them in there so i'll just run the file over them okay and then they'll just pop out they'll just come out like that okay you can glue these back in actually because the pivots on the shaft rather than the end so there's the two little pins as you can see they're tiny that's two little pins and that's the that's the base plate all righty wheels they're not uh, they're, they're not uh, what's named on they're not pinned over so you can just pull them out which is a bonus because i thought they might have been but they're not so that's okay so they can come out no problem there's your post that's your um little crimp at the end just there that there that's where the base plate sits over the top of there the engine should just drop out there you go and it drop out all right i'm just trying to think which way i'm back in now yeah I just think there's only one way to go in, isn't it? Yeah. Right. That's your engine. That's your. That's it. That's your your dozer. Stupid. It is. So chuck all these bits in there. So that's fairly straightforward, isn't it? Engine wheels, shafts. Right. That's that bit. Right, we'll get on with this next. So we'll get this get this out. I've got to do a lot of filing here. Get these. Go for the shorter ends if you can. Cool, that's a bit. It's a bit rusted. That it needs to be. That needs to be pushed back that way. I think it's a bit tight at the minute. Yeah. Yeah, that needs to be pushed down. It's probably a little bit bent. So I can get a. On them wheels there. Get that all woofed. That one's easy enough to do. Cause it's, uh, you can push the axle. Once you push the axle forward, you can get room to get your file in there. So I'm going to... Oh, that's a... That's a... I'm just trying to see if I've got... My eyes are deceiving me or not. That's plastic there. It's a clear plastic piece there. Look. That's obviously for the back suspension on the truck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Careful of that. Right, I'll get a drill out and get that out. I'm not sure about this. I'll have a quick pop at this for a minute just while I'll hear. I'll see if this will come out. I don't know if it will or not. No, not without a bit of a struggle, that one. I'll I'll see what's happening there. I'll have to see what's happening there. Must be a way of getting that out, unless I have to drill through here. So knock that pin out. Well, we'll have a look anyway. Get the rest of the wheels off first. Get that out of there. Right, let me get on with that then. Right, that's the... Um the dozer apart so let's have a look at this one this one drill that out you really need to get the back axle out first so you grind them or you can either grind them or use a file uh, don't forget use your flat sided file smooth there against the hub because these are plastic and once you've removed the uh, back axle at the back It does make a life a lot easier. Because you've got to be very mindful of this, of this suspension on here. So you pull that out. That'll drop. You take that out then. Just like that. Just like that. Like that. Just like that. And that out. But then you come to this part here. Now drill this out. But then you've got the tongue there. That it goes in. So you can't leave it from this end. But here, you've got the plastic suspension. I, I think there's quite a few who've done these before, so I've just 
or we're teaching grandma to suck eggs. But that's your plastic suspension. So you've got to be careful going in with your screwdriver. It's quite tight around here getting in here, but I did manage to just slide underneath there and get in as far as I could and lever it up. So you really need to make sure that post is drilled out clean so you can lift it because I'll show you for why. Because if you, when you lift that up out of there, you lift and separate, it comes out from that tongue, a little bit tight, but it comes out from that tongue. But that's just your suspension. So if you were to get it from the wrong angle, like underneath, and twisted it like with your screwdriver, you could crack that. And then you'd be, you'd be looking for making a new part. Yeah? So you've got to be a bit careful with it. You should be able to pop that over there now. Look. There you go. So, I mean, that's already got... Yeah, it's already got a crack in it as it is. So, I've probably done that, trying to lever it off. That's why I'm telling you, be careful. I could put a bit of glue on that anyway. I've got some glue over there. I'll just plastic glue on there, that'll be fine. So that's 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 the thing to be careful of. I need to get my soldering iron out, I didn't realise to get that out of there. But that's not a problem. I'll get my soldering iron in there. You've seen me do that before, so it's not necessary. This is not a very deep rivet uh, post. So I will probably put a screw in instead, in that one. Uh, sometimes I do use screws, occasionally. It depends how big the post is and how much room I've got. Because you've got this cut out here, see look. That cut out there, it's virtually in line with that, so you're not gonna get a lot of room in there for a rivet. Uh, I've got some 164 scar rivets. I'll have a look, either a rivet or a screw. Well, I'll, I'll have a look. Uh, but definitely to get the soldering iron on and get that out. So that's, that's the cab. You need to get your file again or whatever on here and get, get that out. And then you're done with that. The trailer, spare wheel on top. It's a bit tight. I did leave underneath just to get a little bit of purchase on it so I could drop the wheel down. But once the wheel was dropped down, I've got my pliers on it and I've pulled it out, okay? There you go. So you just need to lever it up slightly just so you can get, knock the tire down, knock the hub down slightly so you've got a bit of room to grip the head. So that's that's another little thing. Uh, so that's that done. Ground off the end of here. Like you do. To get these out, got the wheel off. Then you pull the pin out from the back. And they should all come out all nice and easy. You can see how much I've just... I'm only just trying to grind enough off to get them in and out. That's bent anyway, look. Drop them out. So there's your wheels. We'll keep them separate. This is the plastic suspension which is broken at the back. So I'm going to have to drill that out. And I'll make a new piece. I don't think I've got any plastic, but I've got plastic card. That's just as good. It's supported there. As you can see, if you look underneath there, with my screwdriver, there's a there's a bit of cast in there, so that's obviously that rests against there. So it comes along there, rests on there, and the actual flex bit is from is that little bit there. But we will replace the whole lot. It might as well. So that's that. So you stripped again. Okay. We could do a little bit of extra detail on there. I think we can um, paint up the the rack, the um, winch. Paint these little wheels on there. We can do that. The cab. We can we can do the cab. I'm going to do it green again. And I might do all this white actually. Seen them in white with black lettering. Yeah, funky. Right, so it's uh, get the axles off of that strip time. Strip in. Okay, we're out the stripper. We're stripper. 
Yeah, not too bad. It came off pretty good, the paint, actually. I'm surprised with the yellow. Okay, let's make a start. Yep. The cab came out nice. There is a mark there. I think that's where a decal placement was supposed to be. I'll leave that on because I might get some decals later on for it. I think there's Taylor Woodrow was on there. Carting line at the back there. But apart from that, she's pretty clean. Pretty clean. So that's the cab. This is the front. This is what I'm going to paint white. There. Obviously the rest will be green. Okay. I might even do this bit black actually. I'm not sure I'll do this black and this white. Because that'll go underneath that goes underneath there, doesn't it? That'll go underneath there somewhere like that. Something like that, anyway. So I might do that black. Because this other bit is yellow. On there. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, that's debatable. On that one. But that, that's definitely going to be white. So that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. This... There's no grids on there, no checker plates, so I'll, I'll just paint this. I'll um, do some detail on the grill. Yeah. That's it for that. The drop engine. I'm going to do this in that sand glow. Because it's... Uh, I don't want it the same colour as the yellow on the outside. A lot of these old diesel engines were painted in like a dark yellow, desert yellow type of colour. So we'll do that, that, and this is going to be yellow, obviously, that. There's a few little bits still left in there, but the prime will cover that. Yeah, the casting line there, we'll get rid of. And a black grill. And the blade, we will keep, we'll keep it silver. Yeah, we'll keep it silver. There, because they, most of these blades were they started off painted from the factory, but they soon got they soon got uh, damaged. Paint soon come off them, so we'll keep that bit silver, and the rest we'll do yellow. So a bit, a bit of masking on there. Job done. So really, we're ready for, ready for priming, primer and paint. That's the next stage. The little bits inside, clean them all up. The windscreen unit. It's not too bad. I, I might give it a buff over, but I'm not going to go too mad because it's not clear, clear. I have give it a good scrubbing, but I might just buff, try and buff it up a little bit so it can get better than that. It's got a lot of scratches in it, so we'll leave that out. Tracks are all right. The tyres are all cleaned up. Just got to do the axles. The wheels are all done. Yeah, just got to do the axles. Yeah. So we're all ready to go. We're moving on. We are moving on. So get this up um, prepped, ready for primer. I've got to find lots of hooks and clamps to clamp them all together. Put them over the fire. Okay. Here we are then. We're all out of the paint. Get that out of the way. Yep, there's the cab. Ford Madonna Green. This one, very nice, come out nice and smooth. This is the base. I've got to just mask off this green here and do the white there. I've got the heater on now, warming up. I'll mask this off in a bit and do that. So that's that to be done. That's a yellow piece that goes on the back there, that way around. Uh, that's signal yellow. This is the trailer. All in one colour, come out nice. All done. So that's all done. That's all done. That's all ready. Uh, this is the engine in the sand glow. For the Caterpillar. Bulldozer. we do a little bit of detail on there, not too much. On there, uh, we've got the body done. 
There's your body. This is a signal yellow. Quite nice yellow. Gonna do the floor in black there. Do the seats. Do the grill, some detailing. That's the base. All done. And that's the drop blade. And everything else. You want to just rub a bit of that over there. Because I've managed to get away without masking that. Because actually I forgot when I went to paint it, I forgot to mask it. So I thought, oh, flipping heck. And I'd already got some paint on it. So luckily I did a good job on that. There you go. Uh, the wheels. I've been through, I've cleaned them all. As you know, these Matchbox wheels, they uh, are, the, are the hub shrinks or the tyre expands, one or the other. And, uh, and I super glued all these. So they should be all right. Good enough for this anyway. Okay, so they're all done. Super glued. So that's all done. Uh, the windscreen. I did give it a buff up. So that's come out quite nice. Got rid of them a few scratches in the front there. Which I'm pleased about. So, yeah, that's okay. So we're right with that. We're good with that. We're good to go on that. And the red beacon on the top. I just dropped. I just dunked that in some uh, Tamiya clear red. So that's ready to go. So next stage, just going to just put some masking around there. And this bit here, uh, just put a blow of uh, white on there, including the bumper, because if they had them white, they had a white bumper as well. So might as well go white, white. So I'm going to do that now. And while that's drying, I'll start looking to get painting some details. Okay. Right, moving on, moving on. Details are all painted. Now, I didn't put them on camera because there's a lot of details. It took me a long time to do these, so I didn't bother filming it. So I'll just show you now what we've done. That's the main truck, main bulldozer, metal floor, black seat, blacked out the grill at the front, and that one. Painted the uh, wheels metal at the bottom, which they would have been. Just gives it a bit more bling, don't it? That's your front shovel. Or oh, it's bare metal. Wire walled down to give it a bit of a shine, because this is supposed to be a new delivery. Where did that go? Yeah, a new delivery. This is the engine. Got the manifold painted there. Air box, a few bits and bobs, just to give it a little bit of extra colour, really. This part of the cab, indicators, and a bit of white there. Once touching that, when I put it back in again, because it keeps when I keep pushing it in and out of that little slot, it rubs the paint off. Door handles, that's that, and I've gone ahead. This is the front grille in the white. There's your, I'll put your axle through here. Now if you look, see the Ford, see how nice and neat that is. Get a bit close. Yeah. Um, it's a little chip I got the other night from uh, watching uh, Justin at um, J Art Model Works. He's a scale model builder. And uh, he passed. He was using the tip that was passed on to him. And what it is, so you get a rubber. We call them a rubbers, but this is an eraser, obviously. In America, they call them erasers. We call them rubbers. And uh, rubbers in America means completely different. So be careful. We'll call it an eraser for now, all right? You can use one of these, or you can use... The tip off that depending on what it is you're using now i've already got some black on here got a bit of matte black and i just dipped it dipped a bit out and just dipped it on the on it and then soaked most of it up with a with this so it's just barely tacky 
and then uh, line her up, pop it on. Because this is quite solid, it goes on our treat. And this first time I tried it, first go, and uh, it came out like that, and I was well impressed. The F is a bit light. That's maybe me being a bit nervous, not quite trying to line it up right. But get it lined up right, bump straight down. You can cut these different shapes if you wanted them to. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, whether to rub it, get the paint off, or you can slice it down, as long as you keep it square. It works. Give it a try. Give it a try. Look at that. That's come out nice. I'm impressed with that. So, thank you for Justin for um, passing that tip on, which I know he got from somebody else. I can't remember the name of the guy that got it off. Uh, but all tips are handy. So, that's that. So that's where we are with that. So we're at the assembly stage now. I, I've just, I had forgotten to paint that piece of plastic I'm going to put in there suspension off. And it's over there now um, drying. So I've got all about that. I just, as I was sort of trying things out, test fitting, and I realised I hadn't done it. So that's over there drying. So I'm going to do now, I've put that, I've painted that axle over in there, got that one in there. Uh, and then I can't go any further forward just yet. So what I am going to do, I can't do this suspension yet. So there we go. I shall be back shortly and then we can start assembling. Okay, assembly time then. Here's all our bits and pieces. Got them all there. So I think we'll assemble, because the trailer's already been done. So what we'll do... And I put the glass back in here. I put this in last night so it dry overnight with the thing with Bob in it. So that's okay. So all good to go. So I think we'll do the the tractor unit first, get that out of the way. So we'll move all this dozer stuff so we don't drop anything on it and smash anything. Okay. We'll get the cab unit. We'll shove this in first. It goes up inside there like so. Get our suspension unit. I shall get this around the right way. That should fit in there like so. <clears throat> it's over the top. This is the one we glued. But it's not. Then we shove the axle. I'll get this remember right here. Shove that through. Yeah, shove that through there. Okay, so we've got our axle, got that down. And we've got to get this in. This is a bit, because I don't keep wanting that flopping about. So that's got to go hook in there. Keep that up. Push that down, there you go. We're all done. And then we'll put a screw in here so it don't fall about. That should all hold together nicely. There you go, there you go. So we've got now, yeah, we've got suspension. Got suspension. Now we've got to do is get these on and paint them over. Right, move that out of the way. Right, let's get this paint over. So if you've got headphones on, turn them down a bit. Should be able to just knock these over. Just gently. These aren't thick, big, thick axles, so you don't need to belt it really hard. Just light taps and you're going round the outside edge rather than hit it in the middle. 
hit it in the middle, you're not achieving anything. You need to, and I usually keep trying to keep this on the edge of the block. You're going around the outside edge. That's what you're doing. Angling your hammer down. And as you go around, you get a bit of a routine going. Just keep an eye. Takes your time, takes a bit of time. So you want to do it properly. Well, that's how I do it until it's until it's about right. There you go. All right. It could do a bit more, but I'm, otherwise it's going to take ages on the camera. So that listen separates. We're all singing, all dancing. Okay. And then that'll go in there. Job done. And it lifts up, obviously. And that's it. Okay, so that's the trailer done. Now, I haven't put any decals on this. Because I'm hoping in the f near future to um, have some of my own decals made up with a with my, with a logo of mine. I'm going to work out a logo, like for a haulage haulage logo. Uh, I'm not sure which what I'm going to name it yet, but yeah, because my grandfather, his um. My great grandfather used to have a haulage company in, in uh, Millwall, in London, many years, many years ago, and it was called Middle Ditch and Quay. Um, we're talking going back when it was horse and carts, but it was um, before the Second World War and during the Second World War. Right, so there you go. We're all suspension up at the back of the trail as well. Look, that new bit of plastic's working fine. So we'll just put that to one side and then we'll make a start on the drop. Okay. That was the easy bit. This one might not be so easy. I have to make sure I've got all the bits. I need a washer. There's a washer. Two pins. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to get out. I've got too many nails. Look, there you go. Right, uh, let's have a look, see. We've got to put these engine in first. That's the first to go in. That's it, that way around. Drop that in. So we'll get that in nice and square. So the turbo pipe, or the pipe there lines up with that, that, you know, it's got, got it the right way around. Then, we'll need your wheels through. There's no pinion overdue on this. So that should be cool. Drop them in there. And they're like so. Same with the back. Alrighty. Well, oh, that's in. They're in, and then we drop the body on. Oh, hang on a minute. No, I've got to feed that through there, haven't I? That's it. Now you've got to feed that through. I thought I'd gone wrong. But no. That should then push on there, over that clip. And we should be all good to go. <laughs> oh, what a... What a numpty. Look at that. 
spot the deliberate mistake. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, anyway, what we need to do is get it the right way around. Yeah. There you go. There you go. You get a laugh out of that one. Okie doke. Let me put a washer and screw. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, you had some fun on here, mate. I'll tell you. Hey. Right. This is a bit magnetic, this, so we can carefully get that. Uh, that. Hold on. Fiddly screws. Okay, you're like that. Yeah, I'm putting a wash, washer on this bit because the actual hole in the base plate is quite big for the head of the screw. So I'm just going to do it this way around. It makes it a lot easier, safer. Go, that's on. That ain't going anywhere. And it's the right way around. Right, the blade it goes underneath, underneath there, and on top of there. Okay, like that. Get it right. Get it right. It's a little bit bent that one actually. Right a little bit. And that has two little pins going in there. One there. And one there, two little pins. But before we put this on, we put tracks on. Good. There you go. That's how it goes, it goes up. They don't raise up a lot, these things. All right. Molding it down to the finger. There you go. Down. Up. Down. Up. Right, I'm going to put the two pins in because I need to glue those in because they won't stay in otherwise they'll pop out. There you go. They'll pop out if I don't glue them in. So I'm going to have to glue, glue those in. Okay. And then uh, we'll get it on the uh, magic roundabout or such like. Okay. So let me let me just do that then and then we'll uh, we'll be done. Because if I don't glue them in, I know what's gonna happen, don't you? I'm gonna move it one day and it's gonna I'm gonna drop the pins out. And then we'll be uh, hunting for pins. We're not gonna be doing that, do we? So there you go. It's all working. I'll leave them in. No, see what I mean? It's coming out already. So there you go. It's all operating. All hunky dory. And that will go on the back of that. There you have it. Okay. Let's get it on the magic then. 
this is what we started with the old K17 low loader and dozer on the top so have a look see what we've done with it see what you think have a look at this here we have it then all done and dusted matchbox king size low loader with the bulldozer on it this may be not the said one what came with it but this is the one i did with it i like this one better than the others so we had a full repaint everything else all cleaned up a few extra details put on the uh, on the bulldozer uh, bought out the ford sign on the front using that uh, rubber a razor whatever you want to call it there you go it looks a bit wonky on here because it's uh, hanging on hanging on to on the turntable but yeah very nice what i've got i've uh i've got a piece of board here that i'm going to put this on in a minute so if you hang around after this i'll just have a look at a few of these shots all right it looks a bit better than being in a light box then don't it okay well i hope you like this one i certainly did yeah the only thing i would say will be that piece of card i use for the suspension on the back um could do with a bit of more uh, a bit softer if you know what i mean it's, it's uh, kicking the back end up a bit if you look it's kicking it up a little bit it's quite a it's quite strong but not to worry it's fine it should be okay Right, thanks for watching. Look forward to your comments. And uh, have, a, have a quick look at these uh, couple of photographs I'm going to do afterwards. And uh, look after yourselves. Be happy. And enjoy whatever you're doing. And we'll see you all again next week with another restoration. So take care, everybody. Have a quick look at the photos. And I'll see you next week. Bye for now.